Let's be blunt. Weed, kush, cannabis, pot, marijuana, whatever you want to call it, is a drug that changes your body. And some people like these changes, otherwise they wouldn't get high. But still, some of these changes can affect how you do things. Weed can impair judgment, cause memory problems, anxiety, and depression. It can give you red droopy eyes and make your mouth all dry. It accelerates your heartbeat, slows down your reaction time, disrupts your internal clock, and lastly, munchies. Weed will give you a wicked case of the munchies. In short, smoking weed changes you. And when you're driving, some of these changes can make you very dangerous on the road. And a lot of people think that they drive better when they're high. But that is simply not true. Driving takes skill and judgment, and being high can impact those things in negative ways. Let's take a look. You know weed causes bloodshot, droopy, tired-looking eyes. What you may not know is that it also eliminates your peripheral vision. It's like you're wearing a hoodie. You can't see what's beside you without turning your whole body. That can be a problem when you're crossing the street, right? Being high has the same effect as that hoodie. It eliminates your peripheral vision, so you're totally focused on what's ahead, and that feels safe, but you don't see what's beside you. Big problem when you need to merge, change lanes, or don't see the kid beside you. Being high also messes with your internal body clock and slows everything down. Imagine knocking over a glass of water. The glass tips and starts to fall. You see it falling. You reach out to catch it almost in slow motion. If you miss, You'll have some water to clean up, but it's not a big deal. But say you're driving high with that same messed up internal body clock, and the truck in front of you slams on the brakes. By the time you see the truck's brake lights, decide what to do, and then brake yourself, it's too late. And you don't even want to think about the mess that would make. When you're driving, you need to make decisions constantly. How fast to go, where to turn, which lane to choose, and you need judgment skills to make those calls. Well, weed affects your ability to make those kinds of decisions. It affects your spatial awareness, decision making, logic, and short-term memory. I'll break it down. With spatial awareness, think of soccer. If you're playing soccer, you have to figure out how far away or close the soccer ball is before you kick it. And if you kick too early or too late, too far right or too far left, you miss the ball. If you're playing high, it's harder to judge where the ball is relative to where you are. If you miss a crucial kick, your teammates will get mad at you, but they'll get over it someday. When you're driving high, it messes up your spatial awareness so much that things may seem closer or further away. And if you misjudge where the curb is and roll up onto it, you can hit a cyclist or even a child. Another part of judgment affected by weed is your short-term memory. Say you set up to do homework in your bedroom. You're hungry, so you go downstairs to the kitchen for a sandwich. When you get there, you forget why you went to the kitchen. I mean, it's annoying, right? But you're safe in your house, no one's in danger, and your stomach won't mind you soon. But when you're driving and check your mirror and see a car next to you, if you forget you saw that car, try to change lanes and pull into its path, that could be a disaster. Time to take it back to the people with a tweet further demonstrating how much weed can challenge the minds. Nikki wrote, one time I was so high I was trying to control my oven from the microwave and for 20 minutes I could not understand why my food was not cooking. Would you trust Nikki to properly operate and navigate a vehicle on the road safely when he can't even handle a microwave or an oven? No, you would not. Why? Because Nikki could not solve a simple problem. He could not put two and two together. And when you're on the road thinking about so many things at once, imagine throwing this onto a highway or onto a roundabout. The end results, not very good. Weed also affects your ability to make good decisions. Say you're playing a video game and you make a judgment call. You decide you have enough time and can go fast enough to beat an obstacle, but you don't and fall into the lava. Game over, but no problem. You just hit the reset button and you try again. But in real life behind the wheel, there is no reset button. And if you think you have the time or the space to make that lane change and you're wrong, boom, and you don't get a do-over. 
The last thing we're going to talk about is zoning out. Remember how weed can affect your internal body clock? Yeah, that can cause you to zone out too. We all zone out. We all daydream and stare up into space. But when you're high, the chances of zoning out are heightened. And when you zone out behind the wheel, this can cause swerving in and out of your lane and disconnection from what's happening around you. And that is so dangerous. So we've made it all the way to the end. And when it comes to smoking weed, you can make your own choices. My only job is to make sure that getting behind the wheel while you're high is never one of them. Because not only is it dangerous, it's illegal. When you're with your friends, make sure you make the same responsible decisions you would make if you had been drinking. Have a designated driver, call a parent or a friend, take a bus, taxi, ride share, do whatever you gotta do. But if you do choose weed, make sure you also choose safety. Never drive high or get in the car with the high driver.